Hello and welcome to this week's weekly market update for the freight markets using Sonar. Uh, I'm your host, Zach Strickland. Uh, this week we're going to go ahead and recap what we've seen at the end of the quarter here as we close out June and dive into what we're seeing right now in the market, maybe a little bit of uh, prognostication as we look ahead a little bit, and also give you guys a quick preview of some of the new toys that are available in the latest Sonar uh, release. So without further ado, happy 4th of July, everyone. Let's get to it. So this week, Sonar has added a few new uh, indices and functionalities. Uh, one of them I'm very excited about is the outbound tender rejects changes. So the tri delts, as we call them, there's three indices that measure the change in week, two weeks, and monthly increments. So I'm gonna dive in a little bit of what that means, but first I wanted to show you the map. Uh, this is gonna give you an indication as a great way to look for heated freight market activity. So for you brokers out there, you may wanna look at this map first in your home page to kind of get a quick heads up on where to start digging down to see where uh, some new market uh, volume increases or capacity constraints might have showed up in the last week two weeks or a month. I personally like the weekly change a little bit better because it's a more near term, uh, but the two week and monthly will also give you a better perspective of what's happening in the overall market. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what that means by giving you an explanation real fast of what we saw. So you saw the map and that gives you an idea of the darker blues give you an idea of where the uh, market activity is happening. So this is what the O -tri W or outbound tender rejection index weekly change means right now. And again, just to recap what tender rejection indices are, they are tender rejections issued by the shipper to the carrier where the carrier says, no thanks, I'm not gonna haul your freight today. And that could be either because they don't have the capacity for it or the rate's just not good enough to uh, move power in the area. So the weekly, re the weekly tender rejection index is showing you how much that particular index has moved over the course of the last seven days. So right here you see 0.22, Base, or 22 basis point movement in the last seven days in the outbound tender rejection index for the United States. I'm gonna go ahead and illustrate exactly what that means by pulling up the tender rejection index for America. And that's a good, it's a good indice to look at and telling us what's going on in the, in the overall market right now. A 0.22 drop means that last week at the same time, we were 0.22 percentage points higher. It doesn't mean that we're 0.22% higher. It means we are 22 basis points. And I'm gonna show you real quick with this tool just to do illustrate some basic math real fast visually. I'm gonna start out as close as I can to the 25.45. May not be exact, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go back seven bars, and what that means here is seven days, uh, just to be clear. So seven bars, because it, it, every bar is the period of time uh, of the index. So if there's a monthly index, each bar would be a month, a yearly index, one year, et cetera, et cetera. So you see right here, seven days ago, 0.22 percentage points higher. So it was 25.67 uh tender rejection last week at the same time. So that's a good indication of what's going on in the overall market. We just closed out the second quarter. A lot of shippers have pushed their volumes off their dock. Uh, the carriers trying to final a bunch of loads have shut, shut things down a little bit. We're, we're seeing a little bit more uh, loosening in the market a little bit. Now, I'm not saying that that's a big, like there's not a big drop in spot market activity or anything like that. I'm just saying that we were on a trend of, of just climbing and climbing and climbing. Uh, the market was just getting hotter and hotter. Rates were getting higher and higher. Uh, now, at the end of the second quarter, into June, this is pretty standard uh, for this time of year. We're starting to see this uh, retract a lot, a little bit as we, as we take a breather, the holidays here and whatnot. So I'm gonna back out here and show you guys just what I, what I see every year. Uh, from June to July, 
we typically see this retractionary period. Um, I'm going to show you the cash freight index real fast. It's one of my favorites to look at general market conditions and trends over long periods of time. Uh, it's a monthly index. For, for those of you that don't know what the CAS indexes are, they're based on their invoices. Uh, they generate these indexes and it, it's a good indicator of volume and spend in the marketplace, uh, freight markets in general. Uh, so they are really good indications of what's going on in the general market volume. So this is the shipment index from CAS. And essentially what you see here is a measure of volume of shipments that are coming out. They're going to drop, as you see right here, from June to July. There's a dip right there. You come over here to 2015. If you look down at the bottom, you'll see the date of the index itself. June 26, 2015, July 26, 2015, there's a drop. Uh, 2015 stayed flat, a little anomalous there, but still not seeing a lot of growth patterns in from June to July. And that's simply because of what we stated, shippers are getting volume off their dock, uh, end of quarter, and then you have July 4th holiday situations where people are taking vacations and shutting down for the week. Um, so I tend to think that that's probably going to happen uh, this year. Now this year does have a little bit more um, interesting as aspect to it in the way that the holiday is smack dab in the middle of the week. So it may not impact uh, tender rejections to the point that we see like in Memorial Day, for instance. Like I think that's what we probably saw right here back on uh, June 27th where people were turning down freight because it needed to deliver on, a, on or around the 4th of July itself. Uh, you probably saw some people saying, well, I'm going to take vacation. I'm not going to handle those loads. Well, again, this is all near-term stuff. We're not saying that the market itself is, is crumbling on us. It's just one of those situations where the market kind of takes a deep breath. Uh, shippers and uh, carriers alike are taking vacations. You're going to notice it on the roads. There's just not as much traffic on the roads in terms of trucking volume. Um, it's, it's, it's not unusual. So July itself may be like that. And I wanted to show you guys one more thing uh, before we called it a week and you guys can get to your barbecues. Uh, the Trucks and Market Index, or Truck. So I put in truck.usa, and what this does is it measures the amount of, uh, an estimation of the amount of trucks in a general market. So in this case, it's the entire country. So you see right here that it's dropped off significantly uh, over the past day to 95%. And what that means is in America, we're showing 5% less uh, equipment turned on right now, less activity than we did uh, in general. So the last two weeks. So what that means is two Mondays ago, uh, we were operating at 100 trucks per se, and now we're operating at, a nine, at 95 trucks. And that's just, a, that's just a general, and I'm not saying specifically that the market is 100 trucks. I'm saying that if the market itself held 100 trucks in it two week, for over the last two weeks, now today it's at 95 trucks. So 5% lower than it was two weeks ago over the last two weeks. So all that is saying is just people aren't on the roads. They're not covering the capacity right now. And, and shippers are doing the same. They're not, they're not, a lot of them take the week off. Uh, I found this to be very interesting, uh, just as a quick little illustration of the truck index and how it kind of measures short-term trucking movements and activity. So that's it for this week. Uh, you guys go out and have a good 4th of July holiday, and I will see you next time. For any questions, uh, check out the Sonar page on FreightWaves.com and uh, contact us. Thanks.